<laughs> I'm stuck. They're trying to throw a rope at me, but I'm too far away. Right, so I'm currently in Shanghai Station. We're going to a place called Zangzaji. I can't pronounce it, but I'll put it up on screen. We've got a 21-hour train journey. We've booked like a hard sleeper, so you get your own bed. This is going to be my first thoughts of interrailing in China. So this is the beds, that's, my, that's mine, that's Lottie's, someone blow us and our neighbours. Out there is where everyone sleeps. Here you've got like a hot water thing and you can like... It's for drinking but it's boiling so it's clean and then it's uh, for making like noodles and stuff as well. Smoking area just out there. So we paid $127 for two seats on the train and it comes with a very luxury toilet. That's it, no sink, no nothing, just a mirror. Hello. So if you look, this is a normal bed. I've made like a, an Arabian kind of, I don't know what bed, but here it is. So Lottie climbs up the ladder into here. And she's got like a little cornered off nest. I think it's quite nice in here. Like, close this up behind me. Like a lot of Chinese people stare. Oh well, we've woken up before in a door to someone just like, staring at us next to our bed. Like the girl that's just in the bed below us is just like, just point her camera at me and just like take the photo. Right yeah, okay. <laughs> it's nice to just have your own little zone because personal space seems to not be as big of a thing here. So you got the little fold out seats, a table and a plug. But when you fold out a seat here, you've got this little amount of room as the alleyway. You can't sniff to keep moving. But I'm gonna go back in here because everyone keeps staring at me. It's quite nice, it's quite expensive for what it is. The train keeps stopping and it's very shaky. And because you're sat side on and the train's going this way, it makes you feel a little bit travel sick. It's more fun than flying, but I was gonna say you get to see a lot more, but it's a night train and you don't see anything at night. Day two. I've just woken up on the train. It was uh, quite a comfy night, like surprisingly, considering how much room I got. Everyone woke up at like six in the morning and kids started like, Learning the alphabet, I've still got like, like six hours to go. I'm just gonna get up, have a little bit of a round, wake up a bit. Morning, Lottie. Morning. Right, so we made it. We booked a hotel. On the hotel website, it said that it's five minutes away from the train station. We just looked on the maps and it's an hour and a half, so I don't know if we're gonna walk here, get a taxi, get a bus, I don't know. Oh no, look, broken flip-flop. I bought these like a week ago. So we were, um, Hold on, I gotta record this. Look at this. We left the train station and straight away just used Google to help. It said to get on the number six bus. We jumped on the number six bus and went the complete opposite way to where Google said it was gonna go around. We just jumped off when it was quite close to the hostel. Now we're just walking up a random road. We booked a nice place five minutes away from the train station. An hour and a half walk and we've come here. This is where we're staying. Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting for 10 quid. So we got twin beds, nine pound. Oh, what's the bathroom like? Hmm. Oh, the shower's just there. <laughs> it's got a funny smell in here as well. It's a bit of a funny one here. I forgot what it was like staying in Asian hostels, if I'm honest. Enjoying the hotel views? <laughs> we just got showered and ready, and now we're gonna head out and just get a bite to eat. The next day. Today we're going to go to the Grand Canyon Bridge. It's on the news in England. It's a massive, like, glass bridge that spans right across the canyon. But, yeah, go check that out. Hmm. 
Uh, so we just left the hostel to get some breakfast and I don't know what we bought but it was only like 50p. We showed her no meat so hopefully it's Yeah we showed her no meat and she just started pointing stuff. Everyone is staring at us and so I like so it's weird just walking around everyone stares at us. Okay. Nice. nice. Just yeah. like doughy bread, like it's kind of like a kidney bean, but it's like sweet. I don't know if it actually is a kidney bean, but they feel like all their cakes are served with it, and that's like. This one kind of looks like chocolate chip, so I'm gonna have an open mind. Yes, it's quite nice. The other one's a lot nicer. Yeah. We got on one bus and then we got on another bus and then we just got off in some random town. Uh, apparently the bridge is just up around this way. Well, he's got new sunglasses on. Oh. This is our friend who we'd be lost without. We have no idea what's going on. We haven't for the past few days. No one speaks English. Almost crashed. We found out it was an hour walk to the uh, bridge, so we jumped in a random car. I think it's an unlicensed taxi, so. So, the feel at the moment is like queuing up for a roller coaster. Like, you have to walk through all these things, and we feel like we're at Fort Park. The bridge is just over there, so. We're going to be there any minute now. Look at the amazing bridge. What are those? So we're currently on the bridge. It's pretty nerve wracking. It's like you kind of get vertigo, but then you kind of get used to it. So we made it to the end of the bridge. It's literally just a rope and construction work. And it is really hot today. But that's it. It's definitely worth coming. It's really cool here. The views off the side of the bridge are really nice. We read lots of views saying the canyon wasn't that great, but from up here it looks brilliant. And you've got the view of the bridge, which is just amazing. It's not that busy today, but yeah, it's really, really good. I'm afraid of heights, but I can walk on the glass. So like, it's not that bad. But it does make your heart like turn when you've got that feeling of like, I'm gonna fall. Some people like, don't even walk on the glass, they're just walking around because you can come here even if you won't walk on it because there's a side bit all the way up to the end and then the glass has breaks. So there's plenty of opportunity for everyone to come here. So after you've taken off your god awful shoes, you have to go to shoe cover recycling place. Some of the translations are so funny, like they just do not make sense. So we're just about to go down into the canyon. So there's like an old abandoned slide, like. I don't think I'd want to go down it. It looks fucking steep. I'm guessing that someone got injured on the slide and that's why it's abandoned. It's so steep, like, look how, look how steep that is. You would come down here like a million miles an hour and then you have like one, two, you have two meters here to stop and then it's so steep, like you would die. Just like a boardwalk along the river. That's and really it's, nice. Yeah, it's, re it's really, really nice down here. Very green and beautiful down here. It's really, really nice.
Okay, so we decided to go on the big swing that's here. I don't think it's scary, it just looks more like fun. Oh no! Play down! Oh. Okay, mine broke, so I'm hanging. <laughs> I'm hanging here, I didn't get to the end. <laughs> I'm stuck. They're trying to throw a rope at me, but I'm too far away. My camera battery's just about to die, and yeah, I'm still stuck. Oh my god, I'm still stuck here.